the adversity of mediocrity and selfishness. In the world of my late dad, failure does not just happen in a day. It's a build-up of little things we ignore non-tanantly. So our success do not just happen in a day. It's a build-up of those little efforts we are resilient about. In simple terms, the effect of our actions requires process. We live in a world today where mediocrity and selfishness is prioritized. We all want a safe environment, a working system, and a good governance. However, we fail to promote a same process that, that will lead to that. Hannah Buhari, on the road to becoming the young Nigerian president in the 2019 national process, once said, if we don't pay for the kind of governance we want, we will we'll be paid, or we will rather get paid for the kind of governance we deserve. The statement, this statement sounds harsh, but it's the truth. The adversity of today's reality is our collective negligence. The few with willpower are subdued with destructive criticism. And until we wake up to do the needful, we will continue to will with little or no result to show for it. We talk too much. And the most annoying part is we fail to condemn the obvious acts just because some of us are benefiting from it. Most especially the Nigerian capitalists, both in private and public sector, are the most oppressive in the world, demanding they should be worshipped even when they blood over us. We need to wake up, structure the process, and action it. Complaints won't solve it. Collective focus, doing the right thing, from advocating for the right leadership who has the people at us, might be our saving grace. May God bless Nigeria. Fellow advocates, what do you see to this? Because this mediocrity of the thing is actually eating deep and is affecting our productivity. Elijah, what do you have to say to this? Well, um, the leader we seek, or those at the helm of affairs, would not be any different from the constituents of the rest of us. Now, why do I say this? If you have a bread, a loaf of bread, and you decide to pick one part of the bread, how is that bread different from, and you call that bread the leader, mm -hmm. how is it different from the rest of the bread? So if we want, if we deserve a good, we, we talked about good governance, mm -hmm. leadership, and the rest, the quality of the people there, are they different from the people on ground? Mm -hmm. You know, we are talking about some persons seeing crime peace. Mm -hmm. And when, when people make their money through illegal, illegal means, and it lives in a particular society where poverty has mm -hmm. affected them, mm -hmm. even in the mind, not just physically. Mm -hmm. This person that steals money, he comes, he shares bag of rice. Mm -hmm. People will collect it and be hailing him. Yeah. Tomorrow, when that person wants to run for office, they will vote him Precisely. and then demand him to be a better person. How can he be a better person? True. So that is basically what you are trying to see. You cannot deserve what we don't have. We can't give what we don't have. If we want to experience change in governance, we ourselves, we change starts change. with Thank us. Thank you very much. Change Thank you very much. much. If you don't have savings in any bank, you can't go to that bank and say you want to go and withdraw. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, he didn't talk about, uh, he said something in his statement here. We talk too much. Mm. We talk too much. I read a book recently, a book uh, written by a South Africa, South Sudanese. I've forgotten his name. I learned something. So the book uh, title is uh, uh, the, the Bible or the Acts. Acts. So, and I read from there that, I read from there, the way Sudan used to punish the South Sudan, the people who know as South Sudan. South Sudan, yeah. They broke and, out, yeah. And it's so amazing that, you know, South Sudan happened to be part of the people, when we are migrating from the uh, Arabic Peninsula over uh, 
1,000 years, uh, 1, years ago. But the first my grant, yes, as, as I believe, as I know, is the, they are the Hebrew. But one of others are migrating. Those are the people that stay in Sudan, say they are tired. That is why the Jebu was, uh, the, the Aujal of Jebu used to say they are from Wadai in Sudan. Okay. Are you getting me? And many other people, like uh, the Kalabar people, we say they are from uh, Egypt, this and that. Different groups like that will be saying this and that. So the people were, you know, because of their various religious beliefs, the, our group will belong to, we are the people of the, we are the Bablika people. Are you getting me? Sure. So the Sudanese, they are the Arabic. So because of that, they are punishing them. And what happened that time before United Nations now divided Intervene. the two places? Intervene, yeah. Intervene. Thank you for that word. So what happened? The, the people of South Sudan now came together. See, on Friday, we are no more going for sport in every school. The, instead of that, we should, be, we, should, we, should, uh, we should be going to farm. On Friday, they now a market for farming. Could you believe that we do want family season, eh? Food becomes surplus in South Sudan till tomorrow. I just I just I just heard from TV in recent time that uh, the, the number of anime uh, games in South Sudan is so animals. They show rich rich maybe antelope, this and that, running in the for in the uh, bush there, this and that. Even the person, the person that uh, the commentator of the uh, documentation say he uh, cannot imagine that what happened, what uh, what is happening, that God so much bless these people with this now. Mm -hmm. So, but what I'm saying in essence is that we we are so many in Nigeria. We are saying we are poor. We are this and that, two hundred million this and that. We have that human resources, but are we using it? To produce certain thing, we say protest, protest. Is that the right thing for us? People are saying we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry, but they are not ready to do something. Are you getting me? Sure. Last year, eh, I was I plan in my the estate I live. I was able to plant like play like play okay. some uh, two two uh, yes, uh, what is it called seed of yam. At the end of the day, I reap good, big yams. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? So, and I learned that when I was in secondary school, back in Ondo State. In my secondary school, by the time we harvest our things, we plant uh, and, uh, 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 the greens, the okay. corn, yam, this and that. And we have animal husbandry too. So at the end of the day, you know what we do? We go to radio station to go and advertise. Here are people of the town, come and people come and buy things from our secondary school. Wow. Do we still have that again? Everybody wants everybody is running after white collar job. Do we still have that again? I believe we should look look at that area critically. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? We should look at that area. I visited the place in uh, Delta State. Uh, in the recent past, what happened? I saw a guy there. The guy was doing farming. At the same time, he said, teacher in school, in a school. The guy was telling me that he doesn't use his salary to buy things for at home. That he only buy meat because he's not really an animal. But talking of other grain, he has everything. So he only said he only buy meat and palm oil. Palm oil. So, and I know so many guys. I know okay, many Hussein guys. Hussein wants to say something. Hussein, so basically. Yes. Um, I would like to come in. Yes, quickly. I would like to come in. And uh, uh, just before I lost my life, I lose my life of thought. Right? So, I'll give you an example and illustration. The federal government announced support for palm imputes just to support. Uh, to pushing the effect of hunger in the land. 
So the amount of our 100 billion naira fertilizer that will be distributed to the farmers, of which there are people that are contracted. And I can tell you that some states received those fertilizer. And uh, unfortunately, I am privy to some, uh, some uh, inputs, specifically like uh, the rice farming, which I uh, expected to give an input worth 190,000 naira. Out of among the inputs, I expected to get two bags of fertilizer worth 100 kg each, which is like 200 kg fertilizer and water. Now, I tell you that in a particular local government that I'm privy to, this fertilizer was taken from the Ministry of Agri to the local government for uh, the farmers. But I will tell you what happened. Out of the list of maybe 100 farmers that expected to get this fertilizer, the genuine farmers are just less than five. Mm. They distributed it to these guys and took the remaining and took it back to the state capital and sold those mm -hmm. those imputes for forty one thousand naira. Yeah. Now, this impute, they are expected to bring it back and give it their and they are expected to return back half party of rice as maybe a national saving. So that the, in the course of this adversity, you see that they say they are distributing rice, they are distributing grains and what have you. These are the grains that the government is expected to give back to the people. But now, we have over 95% uh, of the inputs returned back and sold to private sectors. How do you think we are going to... These are the micro we are we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So it is not just about... And yet, too, to these are, these are the, the trade of the, 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 the full power. There are a whole power of people who want to work. There are a whole power of people who are actually doing some things. And there are also people who do not support them as is expected. If we all come together and fight this thing of what the uh, ministry actually did, if it is false, at that local government level, they would, even the list that they bought and the farmers, they will fight it and nothing will happen. These are the kind of protests we are talking about. These are the kind of ways we can fight in your kitty yeah, uh, to ensure Uzin, that... I'm going to ask your thoughts there, Uzin. I, I get your point. What you said is valid, and what the Reverend was saying is valid. We're talking about shared collective responsibility. Now, what you're saying now, people hold fuel in this country, petrol, yeah. to increase the price. <laughs> people hold... Everything. They hold bag of rice. They for... Yeah, to heard, increase then, the yeah. price. Yeah. Politicians... Yes. Try to keep mm -hmm. dollars away when they say CBN is what? giving through BDC. The, some people I mean, hold dollars, hold everything. They try to take advantage of situation for their own personal advantage, and then everybody suffers it. And That's basically what this is talking about. Masses, masses. Who are the masses? talking about. Hussein, Hussein, please. During Abasha's time, I believe you still, you still remember that time. We condemn Abasha. Yes, Abasha yes. is bad. Abasha is this and that. Those people that are condemning Abasha today. They are on the stage now. I be mean, part yeah. of them are on the stage. Part of them are still are in the masses side. Are you getting me? Sure. So are they doing any? We are. We are. We experience yeah. new thing. No. So what are we? What am I talking about? We there is no way, no way we can uh, get to become utopia. We become utopia society. An utopian society. And yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not possible. But we should do our best to make life better for people. Sure. Should do our best. That and then doing best is not government. Because I've been hearing people talking of government, government, government. It's not government alone, but individual from individual uh, ago. You know what is called ago? Individual family. When you talk of synagogue, when we have different family come to worship, are you getting it? Yeah. Sin to bring family together. So. That is it. We should it's a, it's a collective work for each and every one of us. No government they, if you focus on government like me now, I will say I'm focusing on government to do this, to do that. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, one 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 will be going astray. So that is what that is what we should focus on. We should individual. Let us teach ourselves how to use Check, our so, so, reference, thank you for that line of thought, right? I can tell you that why I'm bringing this kind of uh, conversation up is for us to promote what uh, what people, effort that people are making to correct the menace in the society. Mm -hmm. i give an example in fintech space. Fintech is out of, out of one of the highest attracted investment that has attracted investment in Africa, especially in Nigeria. 
And Nigeria has attracted a lot of investment into fintech, through fintech in Africa. And it has actually reshaped the financial sector with any bureaucracy of government, any bureaucracy of the cartel in the banks and what have you. And we can all see that. Even if we are having some frustration around that space. But at least when the populace also accepted the use and encouraged the technology, even th there are some lapses, but when they, they, they encourage the technology, things change yeah, for better. So, so we are actually looking at we are actually looking at uh, possibility of um, how these um, uh, people can support the right thing to be done. That is the advocacy. Thank you very much, um, Hussein. Uh, we will try our best to encourage a society where everyone will be responsible for Nigeria's development or Africa's development as we are integral part of the society. We try to tell it like it is, regardless of whose acts is God. Just as Reverend Abola Kusheni has said oftentimes that we should be responsible and stick to our faith to have a sustainable development. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on X and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocates. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Until next time, we can continue working together to accomplish what we do best. Let's continue to push for social change. Bye. Bye.